Hello everybody and welcome back to my Ninu Kunai 2 Revenant Kingdom playthrough. Well, last time we had gone ahead and gone through Bastion, and we had also gone grabbed some notes. Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called uh, r slash realmhq. Other than that, back to your regularly scheduled programs. It's interesting because the kid also asked, um, basically he asked, uh, motherfucking, oh, sorry. He asked, um, Evan if he was okay, uh, how he would react to somebody betraying him. And, uh, one of them, or it seems so far that, uh, Roland is gonna betray him. I don't think he is. I think what's happening is that there might be an undercover agent from the freaking um, Ding Dong Dell intending to kill him. It would seem the most reasonable. Because it doesn't make sense for Roland to want to kill the actual kid. Cause he's done so much to help him but then again that's also why I'm kind of gathering these to figure out if that truly would be his wish uh, reactive floor please I just realized I could have gone to the elevator from the other one there it is Now the last one is apparently off the castle entrance. Nope. No, it looks like it should be out here. Again, I think that it's not Roland. I think it's a uh, Mausinger agent who is intending on killing our man just for the hell of it. Or not for the hell of it. Y you know what I mean. Okay. Left of the castle entrance. So it might be talking here. Oh, I don't see it. No. No. I think it's talking about this castle right here. the left of it from <sighs> hmm left of the castle entrance outside the castle I'm not seeing anything. Say. I don't... Where? Hmm. My thoughts is it might not have technically appeared yet. 
because it's also saying ding dong dell the fountain so and let's go ahead and manage our kingdom Ooh, our coffers are full right. and we got 150 of the other stuff Ooh, we can go ahead and level up quite a few things now our store is bringing a ton of stuff There we go. Uh, Fido. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's do some research. the research there we go yeah Let's see hell yeah Right, and you level up. And I get an access. There we go. not anything I can do. Just for 10k, okay. Grab some stuff yeah. from my coffers. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that should do that. Actually, no, I want to check if we're able to... We have the influence. We're still shy of the facilities. I wonder if it's talking about the dimensional lab. Oh, it is. The dimensional lab, and then probably uh, the spellery, which it'll cost a bit, but that's fine. Alright. Alright, well, we've gathered all those notes. Let's actually read them. Okay. Chapter 5. Uh, Evan's still just a kid, but he's already been through a lot. He kind of reminds me of my son. He had to go through a lot, too. But I wouldn't give what I wouldn't give to see him again. But I think the world is gone. The only question is why I survived and what I'm doing here. If you're going to build a kingdom, location is everything. I convinced the pirate lady who runs the store to give me a map, and I think I found the perfect spot. Evan liked the idea, and Lofty had no objection either. The only problem is the bandits. I dreamed of my son last night. We're in the ward. I spoke to him, but there was no response, no way to reach him. 
But I have to give, I have to leave my the past behind. I get a life here and people are like, no time to wallow. Still, you can't choose what you dream about. I wonder if he's in a coma, so his body actually survived. Hoping to meet with Leander, Evan, and Tanny acted out a... Hoping to meet with Leander, Evan, and Tanny acted a proposal scene with Lofty directing. I have to say the guy has some pretty smart idea on occasion, but then he can't be that stupid. Evan had to take the knowledge, take the trial of knowledge before he worked with him. Yeah, that's true. Tanny and Buta are always up at the crack of dawn making a racket. Shirts sure beats an alarm clock. They make a point of going around town talking to people every day. Some were a little wary of the sky pirates, but soon they in they soon warm up to them. I'm impressed. It's quite a surprise to find a place with technology that's not so far from what we have at home. Not exactly the same, of course, entering Broadleaf. It was like going from a fantasy epic to a sci-fi movie, with the protest landing things as an aptly dystopian feel. Okay, so that's how he felt about Broadleaf. I never saw that, because of fucking that thing. And then he talked about um, the robots, and then Lofty's transformation was something else. When uh, Evan first told me we were going to meet a kingmaker, it's exactly the kind of fantastical beast I imagined. But that's the real Lofty. Does that mean every kingmaker has a mini version? I can't quite picture it. It probably is the truth, but anyway. So who exactly is DeLorean? All we know right now is that he wears a snake mask and goes around stealing king's bond he's got three so far and you have to wonder when he's going to come for evans i just hope i don't get another headache when he does that's an interesting note i don't know if he's talking about just the fact that it's a <laughs> it's it's a fight to go ahead and actually clear him or if he's having something happen with himself. If it's himself, then that would lead credence to the fact it's not rolling. Alrighty. All right, time to make some modifications. Come on, Bracken, not the face. Anything from that? What's the big idea? It's dead weight zip. Sorry. Yeah, it's not aerodynamic at all. Now we just need to get rid of this by replacing it with this. Let's see now, huh? Then a little adjustment here and there, and... Woo, yeah! Voila! Perfect. I have to do so myself. Uh. My beautiful Zeppelin! Hey, at least it'll uh, be a little bit more efficient, as well as the fact that you actually have something uh. to pierce the air. Well, too late to worry about it now, I guess. She's all yours. <laughs> it presents you with his pride and joy, the Zeppelin. Uh, oh, well, that's cool. Alright. Uh, oh, Evan, I needed a little favor. Mm. Of course, Count President Victor. What is it? Well, it's like this, see. Now, well, now that I gave you the Zeppelin, I kind of don't have a ride home. Would you mind taking me over to Broadleaf? Call it a test flight. Anywhere around, any place around there is fine, just as long as they don't have to walk the whole way. Thanks, pal. Yeah, sure, we can take you over there. Engage turbo thrusters. Holy cow, is this thing fast. So, this isn't like a, <laughs> a high wind, is it? Where I have to uh, methodically raise it and lower it. That's good. Hey. Get you as close as we can. Is 
Thanks. Thanks, guys. How about that Zeppelin, huh? She fires like a dream. Yeah, I've kind of flown one of these before. The last time I checked in on it, it turned into a big old jet, or turned into a little airplane. <laughs> but we don't talk about that. Especially no uh, one-winged angel. <laughs> Look after her now, you hear? Man, he fucked up. <laughs> Adio, mi hotties. Homeward we go. Wait, Zip arrived after Leander to tell us something, didn't he? What was it you wanted to say, Leander? Yes. I'm going to talk about it more there. Mm. Yeah, I think it has to do with Roland, but... Hmm. Oh, shoot. This is why I usually have it the other way around. There we go. All aboard the Zeppelin. Can you believe Zip is letting us have his airship? He's so kind. Of course, we had to get rid of that stupid, ugly, stupid, ugly face in the front. Yeah, it looks like Edna Mamo Edmode. It does not look like Zip. It looked a whole lot better before, you know. <laughs> Zip, I hate to break it to you, but it really didn't. Hey, she ain't wrong there, pal. I think Crikey got rid of that old mug. I'm afraid you're sorely mistaken, Zip. It looks much better now. Okay, okay, enough already. I get it. <laughs> Meet the tropical fangfish. Yar, uh, feast your eyes on this fearsome beast. It wasn't easy getting this shot, I tell you. I was convinced my luck had run out. I was destined to end up as the monster's breakfast. If you're gonna snap a fangfish, you need to see this almighty glob in its all its glory. Look at its mouth. I've never seen anything like uh, seen the like. I don't know how you did it. It's the most awesome thing ever. You really risked your life for this one. Thanks for your wonderful work. This is simply extraordinary. You went all the way to the desert? Gosh. True love at last. Finally, I met my true love. Now we shall be together in all eternity. This is bliss. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh, this is your captain speaking. We gotta go fuck shit up. Alright. Other uh, way. So, apparently, um, I don't know, it sounds like Leander is talking about something with Roland. Because of the fact that Roland's actually giving a shit about what the hell Leander has means that it's not exactly something <clears throat> he's, no, I don't know. Unless right now we're not... Flying, we're not flying with Roland. The pro I I don't believe he would actually tr uh, actively betray Evan. And the simple reason is just he's been with him the entire time, and as far as he's aware, he got nuked. The only thing he would at all want is to go home. But huh. that's the thing about the notes; they lead credence possibility of it otherwise I'm pretty sure he knows he was nuked oh wait 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 what the fuck did I just get now it's the you raisin peas that's not the one Malafat da 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 shouldn't be you God damn, I still need to find out what the hell that yellow thing is that damn Higgle wants. <sighs> anyway. Alright, let's go ahead. Mark them all down. Wait, are you guys wearing... How the fuck did these go higher? Anyway, I'll deal with that later. Wait, 
That was it. Two pistols, the two bows. And then, yeah. Castle Crusher. Okay, so it looks like she's got a new one. Ooh, and Roland's got a new one, too. See, this is why. In case there's an actual thing where I can't use certain members of my party, this is entirely why I usually outfit them all with decent weapons. And besides that, they, it usually helps freaking make things a hell of a lot easier. No, no, he's got the sword stuff. And then you... No, it's her. I don't think we have anything new for you two. We did, however, have something new for you. Which, in turn, means it's new for you and new for you. Ooh, I think you have the second fist. Yes, you do. Okay, so it's you that actually needs this one. And the burning ring, you can get this one. Uh, that one's better. I don't... Mm. Yours is taking the better. Okay. And then you have that. You need the castle pressure, and then jump, and then jump. Then yeah. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. I need to go ahead and change my quest. It's items. And then tactic tweaker. Mm hmm. Okay, what is it? Now I can't be tweaking further. Alright. Okay, so I can because I have. Alright, there's not anything out right on you. I would like to get you. Because I can totally go ahead get a decent okay oh I see and then how much would it cost? Alright. Confusion's worse than fire, to be honest. Mm, poisoning's not a bad one, anyway. There we go. And then I can't above anything else, but it's very helpful. It probably also helps that we have, like, so many party members. So each time they do end up leveling up, that goes and adds to our stuff. Alright. Um, was that all I was intending on doing? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's go into the castle. Yeah, Leander, you had something to talk about? I wanna... No, there's not anything. If I may be so bold... I have a rather serious matter I would like to discuss with everyone. 
May I have them summon all here? Oh, not yet. Uh, By all means. I need to go save. So what news are you breaking, my good sir? Is it that you figured out where the hell the came so from? Bold. Please talk, please talk. No. Fuck. As the matter I've wished to discuss with you all, we've been receiving some rather unsettling news of late from within the kingdom. There are reports of certain resources being unaccounted for and a suspicious hooded character having been sighted. There are among several other developments that have become a cause of some concern. <laughs> a Rob Swa, you see. And a shady sort to boot, hmm. So we got a thief among another, eh? That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Uh huh. No, not good at all. Golly. Could there really be people in our kingdom who do such a thing? I suppose this rob person would be able to tell us. Yeah. Yeah, he. because he's obviously the one doing the stealing. Huh. Guess it's not a, such a surprise. Security around here isn't exactly what you call it tight. No, listen here. But we, let's say we convene us a little powwow and talk about how to catch this pilfer of ours, hmm? Tonight after dinner, perhaps. Hmm. After all, tis best to strike while the iron's hot with such matters as these. Wouldn't you say, Roland lad? No. Sorry, can't make it. What do you mean you can't make it? I've been working too hard. Need to catch up on a little sleep. But if it's urgent, feel free to go ahead without me. Um, yeah, hmm. Roland. Very well, Roland. Hope you enjoy your rest. You deserve it. Thanks. I will. <clears throat> I'm gonna hope the hell that he actually goes to fucking sleep. And that he's just been trying to catch the fucking asshat who's uh, fucking uh, parading around as him. I really don't want it to turn out that he actively is doing shit. Because it just doesn't seem like in his character, to be honest. You have my thanks. I must thank you again for providing us. The items and information we require, Roland. Uh huh. Don't mention it. Let me know if there's anything else you need. No. There is one thing I've been meaning to ask. What? Why do you serve such a kingdom? A fledgling realm populated by bandits and vagabonds. Surely there are places better suited to some of your inestimable talents. Kind of used to performing on a bigger stage. <laughs> Maybe it's time I went somewhere where they appreciate a little more. Enemy is a relative term, after all. <laughs> Sage words, indeed. Well. Well, you've done more than enough to earn our gratitude. Should you ever wish for a change of scenery, you'd be welcome to join us. He is fucking Mausinger's agent. The dog, so he's selling his time. Sold to the highest bidder, is he? And if that's so, then... Confront him about it. Find out what the fuck he's doing. I think he's actively trying to get info on fucking... Mausinger. So, Roland. Get up to much last night, did you? Meet with any interesting characters? Last night? I don't know what you're talking about. You're avoiding. Spare as you lies. You're a traitor, man. Fixing to leave our little kingdom behind for bigger and better. Don't bother to deny it. Roland? Surely not. Surely so, lad. Or did he think it a coincidence that our precious resources only go missing on this treacherous dog's watch? And what are the shady fella in the cloak he met with this past evening? Just an old pal come for a chinwag, was he? 
I'd like to hear you explain that little lot away, Mr. President. There must be some mistake. Mustn't there, Leander? One should not rush to judgment on the basis of hearsay alone, but I must say this does seem somewhat irregular. What? There you have it. Now sling your hook before I sling it for you, you scurvy swine. So that's how much trust I've earned, huh? Good to know. Maybe I would be better off someplace else. Someplace my talents will be appreciated. He as good as admits it. Not exactly, but... Well, what the f... So long, Batu. Evan. What the fuck were you gaining, then? That's the issue. That's why I don't feel like he's going to actually fucking Roland, trade us. You can't! Not even the slightest attempt to defend himself. One cannot help but wonder if Batu's suspicions were well-founded. I mean, they are. I just... I don't believe... I believe Roland has plans, and this is how he's going to get into Ding Dong Dell. No! He's going to corrupt it, or he's going to take it out from within, and allow Evan to be able to finally, reasonably take back the place. Well, now. Who are you? Huh. Forgive me. Chief Console, or should I say, former Chief Console. You saw that too. Well, what do you want with me? Why, to engage your services, of course. You have information that will be quite useful to us, I am sure. Hmm, that's quite an offer. What exactly did you have in mind? Mm. For one such as yourself, oh, plenty, my friend, plenty. But if you wish to learn more, you must speak with my master. Oh, uh, who would that be? <laughs> yep, that's what I was thinking. Why, well, King Mousy, of course. There's no need to be coy. Huh. Well, looks like I landed on my feet. Yeah, so he's doing this so he can fucking get inside, get info, then come back to fucking get them. Or at least allow them to be able to get in without any issue. Because we have no fucking info on Mausinger, but he has to make it fucking sell right, because he knows there's eyes around the kingdom. Blimey. He didn't come back all night. We sent Kanubish after him, but he hasn't reported back in either. Oh. Well, Roland. <sighs> okay. He might also be looking into because this is where he was teleported in. Oh shit, yeah, there's definitely a bunch of things that have changed. Yeah. King Mouse here awaits you in the throne room. Please make your way straight ahead. Oh, in that note, I must leave you. I do hope your conversation with his majesty proves fruitful. Is that why you had the poison round? The exact revenge on fucking Mausinger? The bastard who fucking killed all the other people? Uh, that was a thing. There's apparently one... Uh, The fountain? Oh, I can't go down there. Okay, and there's no, like, other... No other fountains I can see, so... I guess is it's gonna be in there. No... I don't know. There's a fountain that's talking about. Wait, are you the... No, you're just a... a robe. Alright... Go and save. Yes. Is it gonna drop? Uh, no, it still has everyone. Okay, that's interesting. Get my eye on you, you know. One false move, and I'll be happy to send your head rolling. 
Uh, pal, I got a gun. I know you guys may be like, oh, we got guns too. Greetings. What a pleasure. It seems it's an it seems an age has long or has since passed. Last and ah, ha! It seems an age since we last met. So much has happened since I took my rightful place upon the throne. Your Majesty. Well, well, well. So this is the famous Roland. Well, well, well. But am I forgetting something? I am Chancellor Vermin. Charmed, I'm sure. I've been following your work with great interest. To have made an almost viable ruler of the young Evan is quite the feat. Yes, a sterling achievement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flattered. I remember very well how you thwarted my designs for our young friend. But rest assured, I bear no ill will on that account. I've been examining your nature, your actions, and I've decided that you and I may be able to come to an arrangement. Glad to hear it, and good of you to get to straight to the point. All right. Shall we get down the business? My terms are simple. I want power and maybe a little money, too. Give me those and I'll give you whatever you want. I'll even give you Evan. <laughs> Very well. I believe in making the best of the use of your talents are those in my employ. Forgive me. But I require your, you to prove yourself first. Oh, yeah? Mm. Yes, we've prepared a little test for you in the dungeons. Let's see if your loyalties are really as fluid as you claim. Okay. <clears throat> no, there's no note. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's just running a stint so that he can fucking get what he needs. Because <clears throat> that's the whole issue with Mausinger. We have shit all in terms of fucking info. So it would be really reasonable to actually get info. But the problem is there's no active way to get it without a man on the inside. Which is purely what Roland is doing. I'm hoping for fuck's sake. His aspect of wanting power and money does not sound like him to say the least. Oh. Shit, you guys are alive still. And this job's getting harder and harder, and the fresh fish is getting more and more scarce. I'm done with Ding Dong Dell. Truth be told, I'll be moving to King Evan's new country. Uh... But isn't that where Roland came from? I wouldn't be too sure that's the answer. Nah, you should go there. Trust me, it's fine. You guys would be better there than here. <clears throat> I wonder if he's going to try to kill me. Sad parties, we're going to have to leave it off here. Thank you guys for tuning in all that jazz. Like and subscribe. Comment down below and we'll see you guys next video. Other than that, have a great day. Where is the button?